Stinging nettle is a perennial broadleaf weed known for the tiny hairs on the leaves and stems. Contact with these hairs will result in itching and burning rashes. In this video, we'll show you how to identify this weed, how to get rid of it from your property, and how to prevent it from growing back. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about lawn care, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Stinging nettle plants grow to be from 3.5 feet to 10 feet in height. The stems grow upright, branching from the base of the plant. The stems are covered in both long, stinging hairs and shorter, non-stinging hairs. The leaves grow from 2.5 inches to 5 inches in length. They can have 3 to 5 veins that branch from the base of the leaf. The leaves are also coated in stinging and non-stinging hairs. When it's time to flower, stinging nettle produces flowers that are whitish green. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check around your property to confirm the weed's presence or find activity hotspots. Stinging nettle thrives in areas with damp soil that only see partial sunlight throughout the day. It does not grow well in climates of excessive heat or where there is prolonged exposure to the sun. Common sites where stinging nettles are found include, but are not limited to, pastures, ditches, overgrown areas, wooded areas, and yards. This plant is considered a summer annual. Seeds germinate in spring, and the flowers often bloom from March to September. After identifying your weed and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep people and animals out of any treated areas until after products have fully dried. To eliminate stinging nettle that's already established on commercial or residential properties, use a selective post-emergent herbicide that's labeled not to injure your property's turf grass. If you have stinging nettle growing on properties with cool season grasses, we recommend 2,4-Diamine. The labeled application rate for spot treatments with this product is one quarter of a pint of concentrate mixed into three gallons of water, or one and two thirds fluid ounces of concentrate mixed into one gallon of water. If you have stinging nettle growing on properties with warm season grasses, we recommend Fahrenheit herbicide. For spot applications, mix 0.2 ounces of the product per one gallon of water to apply over 1,000 square feet. Keep in mind that when making applications over St. Augustine grass, Bermuda grass, or zoysia grass, temporary stunting or chlorosis may occur. For either of these products, we recommend you mix and apply your herbicide with a handheld pump sprayer, spot treat any nettle you've found during your inspection. Use a fan or cone spray pattern to ensure the leaves are fully coated and spray the weed to the point of wet but not runoff. Be sure to spray on calm days when temperatures are not too hot and when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. When applied properly, affected weeds will yellow and begin to die. Conduct follow-up applications as necessary. Reapplication intervals with 2,4-Diamine range from 21 to 30 days. Reapplication intervals with Fahrenheit range from 4 to 6 weeks. Applications are most effective when the plant is young and actively growing before flower or seed production. Prevention is essential to keeping weeds in check. Even after applying herbicides, the best way to stop weed activity is to ensure it can't happen. One of the best ways to control stinging nettle after it's been eliminated from your property is to mow your grass at proper intervals to maintain a thick growing density. A lawn dense with taller, trimmed grass is better able to choke out weeds and prevent them from establishing. We also recommend promoting the health of your turf to reduce the conducive conditions that allow weeds and disease to take hold. Consider applying a fertilizer like Solutions 15510 Weed and Feed with Trimec. This product is a slow-release fertilizer that will provide lawns with essential nutrients and fight against weed development. With a push spreader, apply 3.2 to 4 pounds of product per 1,000 square feet. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop unwanted plants like stinging nettle from taking over your turf, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. 
And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.